There was also something exciting in BC that actually this was great. didn't involve a player. But here's what I find interesting. Should have hit him harder. So that's uh, Devin. I think that's the second one I'm going to go to. I want to go to the to the first one. So we've seen for years in different uh, generations, different eras, Perfect. where a guy is going to walk on to a football field. Sometimes security gets them. Sometimes they don't. In this particular occasion, security did not get to him first. Once again, property of CFL, Bell, TSN. This might be the best hit of the weekend. There's no security, man. Yeah, very funny. Running in his underwear, no pants, whatever. We'll call him Russell. Yeah, he's Russell. Watch the teammate come over and start laughing. <laughs> okay, so in our world, that was awesome. That was great. That was so great. And anybody that defends that and saying he should have hit him, you're a loser. Okay, and you're get, a big loser. But Dave, where do you, where, do, where was the game played? In BC. Yeah. So <laughs> losers. People shouldn't. So here's now global oh. television from, from you know covering the event. So this is courtesy of global TV. I knew this was coming. They should I struck like, first. Y- you know what? <laughs> this just sickens me. Here's the report. Here dealt with a rogue spectator. Well, the venue says the fan was in the wrong. Many think the player was too. Brianna Karsten Smith explains. <laughs> Fans watching the BC Lions home opener saw on TV. A little bit of a delay here. But this is what happened at BC Place. A spectator jumping onto the field wearing no shoes or pants and running around until defensive back Marcel Young Boom. had enough. <laughs> the sheer impact and the man's reaction captured clearly in photos. Awesome. As he stayed shaken on the ground, both the Montreal Alouettes <laughs> and those in the stands yeah. couldn't believe what happened. Everyone sort of like found it like funny that I got hit by a player, but then I think some people were sort of like, is he allowed to do that? As the video circulated on social media, those concerns were echoed. Sports broadcaster Rob Fay posting, I can't condone that hit. The fan is completely oh, wrong, but it's not worth it for players to take those measures. And a fan writing, leave it to security. That's their job. But witnesses say there wasn't any around. I like the fact that like security took their time to get out there sort of like, a bit concerning for player safety, too. A spokesperson for the venue says staff acted exactly as they're supposed to. If they don't have an imminent threat, say something in their hand, the protocol is not to chase them and risk further injury to themselves or, or other people. According to the team, Marcel Young is not facing any disciplinary action from the league at this time. This is their workplace, and I, I personally feel it's highly disrespectful when these type of things happen. As for the brazen fan, he's been banned from the venue for a year and issued a citation for trespassing. Officials say he cut his foot jumping onto the field, yeah, but they weren't sure if the big hit caused any other injuries. Brianna Karsten Smith, CTV News, Vancouver. So worried about people who now... Not only break the law, because that's what it is. When yeah. you go to those games, do they tell you? Like in the, in the States, it's like you, you get on that field, it's $25,000 or yeah. whatever it is. It's huge. The, the guy the guy should be thrown in, in front of a judge, and he should face some sort of, if it's trespassing or whatever it is, what the rule is. On the back of every single ticket, they actually tell you what you can and can't do for the most part. You don't enter the ring, the hockey rink, the stadium, the, whatever that field that the sport you're watching you cannot go on it. If you go on it, that's what you pay. What? We just become best friends. Yep. 